Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran has advanced to the next level. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What's up guys? I'm back in front of my camera, which can only mean one thing. Got another box in the mail. So yeah, basically this is another one of my Hammond Collection figures that I ordered. I got the Giganotosaurus last time. I'm still looking for the Therizinosaurus and the T-Rex. Those are the ones, and I think after this I might start collecting more of them, but yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get right to opening. Let's see what it is. Oh, I think I know what it is. I can tell by the, by the design. I think I know what it's gonna be. Yep, yep it is. Here it is. The Hammond Collection Therizinosaurus. Now I'm just looking for the T-Rex. So, yeah. If you look at the detail, that that looks so cool with the claws and the, you know, the packaging looks so cool, you know. Actually, I looked at the eBay thing and I wasn't, you know, expecting this till Friday, but it came today. So, let's, uh, let's open the bad boy up. But before we even do that, let's just take a closer look at this thing. So, this is the packaging for it. It looks really cool in my honest opinion. And I'm excited to open this. I haven't even opened it yet, you know? I'm just so excited. The, the boxing looks really cool. The packaging, the Hammond collection. My second Hammond collection figure and it just looks so cool, you know? You see the Therizinosaurus in the background kind of just chilling and yeah. All right, let me go ahead and open this thing and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so here it is, the Therizinosaurus all opened up and all set up. So as you can see, this let's start with the, the head bit. Like, notice we kind of got the glowing eyes again. The mouth can kind of open up like, yeah, there we go. That's, that's good. This guy doesn't have like the flappy, you know, I don't know what you'd call these pink things, but it's just regular plastic and I kind of like that. The head moves very efficiently and so does the neck that's pretty cool and the the arms a lot less stiff than the giga for whatever reason you can kind of turn these a little you can even move the claws a little bit which i kind of like you know the claws look very very amazing you know very cool and then you got the the legs let's see what the legs can do the legs are still a bit stiff but you know you i can kind of get over it you know and then you got the tail, which you notice the tail's kind of real feel. You can kind of move it a little bit, and yeah, that looks cool. And this guy looks very accurate to its Dominion counterpart. That's so cool. The Therizinosaurus was a, a surprising but very welcome addition to the franchise. And you know what? I'm glad it entered the franchise, because it, it deserved time to shine, much like the Giga. You know, it's just... A really cool design. Let me just get the old Mattel Therizinosaur figure and we'll compare sizes. So give me one second while I do that. All right, so here are the two Therizinos side by side. And yeah, the Mattel one or the Hammond Collection one looks way better. I mean, they're both made by Mattel, but as you can tell, the Hammond Collection one is a lot bigger. It looks way better than the old one. The old Therizinosaur came out like late 2021, early 2022, while this guy, I think, came out a little later, so like two, three years later. But yeah, you can tell they've really come a long way. And the Therizinosaurus here isn't nearly as, uh, you know, posable as the other one. And I just want to do one more thing real quick, I think would be really cool. So give me one second while I do that. I just wanted to do this real quick. See, you got the Therizinosaurus kind of, you know, fighting the the Giganotosaurus figure. Looks really cool. Let me see if I can get another angle real quick. Yeah, it looks like he's about to, to strike him. That's what it looks like. That looks so cool. Or maybe he's just giving him pets, you know? Even though it that's not the case at all, it kind of does look like that. Yeah, that's really cool though. I really love this thing. So. Hold on, give me a second while I just uh, 
get rid of this. All right, so here's the Mattel Therizinosaurus. Honestly, a lot of the criticisms I had with the Giganotosaurus don't seem to appear for the Therizinosaurus. I mean, you still got the stiff legs, but that's about it, really. Overall, I would give this figure easily a 10 out of 10, you know, because the Hammond Collection figures just really look good. But yeah, that's going to have to wrap it up for this unboxing. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.